In this video, we're gonna use the product rule again to differentiate the function h of t equals the square root of t times a plus b t. Now, a and b are just some, um, it's not our main variable here, there's some, uh, they're gonna be constants, okay? So, but we don't know what those constants are. So, when we wanna differentiate this, again, we're gonna use the product rule. We have two parts here, and we say, okay, well, let's go label our f of t, right? f of t, let's call square root of t. And f prime of t then becomes what? Well, we know that t, uh, square root of t is the same thing as saying t to the 1 half, so we use power rule to say it's 1 half t to the negative 1 half power, okay? If g of t, okay, g of t is equal to the second part, all right, I'm gonna break it apart into these two parts here, is our a plus b t. So if I differentiate g prime of t, differentiate that, we're gonna have, well, a is a constant, so that kind of disappears, and we have left just b, and that's what g prime of t would equal to, okay? So if I'm gonna follow the product rule, all right, so h prime of t equals, well, our first part, f of t, which is square root of t, times g prime, which is b, plus g, a plus b t, times f prime, which is one half t to the negative one half power. Now, if we want to clean this up, uh, keep it all with square roots because we have square root here, and let's reorganize it. We have b square root t plus one half. I'm putting this one half out front, and then I have in the numerator um, a plus b t times one half is the same as square root, but it's negative, so we have negative square or square root of t in the denominator. Now we can do a final cleanup here, b square root of t plus, well, a plus bt over 2 square root of t.